The 41st annual Arts International exhibit kicked off on Friday night. There were paintings and there were a few photographers along with sculptors. Photojournalist Rick DuPont interviewed sculptor Claude Montes at his house and he's the focus of this week's ABC7 Spotlight. I think we should not impose ourselves into a box and just do one thing. We should try to do as many things as we can. Claude Montes is a local artist. He was inspired. I started sculpting when I was in college. And my professor was working on stones. So now I was watching him on weekends when I went to paint. Claude still likes to paint, but his first love is sculpting. When I first saw the stone, I thought it was pretty, just as a stone. They want to ask what came out of it, and I said, wow, this is something that i have got to be doing. That's what I've been doing ever since. You might be wondering, what's going through Claude's mind as he's working? It's basically good to not to think of what you're doing. That way you don't stress yourself about trying to solve a problem. It just comes out on its own. Claude loves to be outdoors. The best thing for me about El Paso is the mountains. The environment helps a lot in what I create. Just looking at the mountains every morning, I couldn't ask for a better place. But the southwestern scenery is not the only thing to influence Claude's art. My twin brother passed away in 2003. A, a photograph that I took of my brother in 1982. My mother, also, who also passed away in 2004. That's a picture of my mother that I took while she was coming her hair. My brother passed away right before Christmas, and my mother passed away right around the same time. Everything else that I've done from that time, they all have a little bit of my mother or my brother in it. Mother Josephine and Brother Joseph. Claude has happy memories too. When I was in high school, I bought a camera. Oh, everything is manual. And I took a photography class. The picture that I took of Muhammad Ali. And I was taking pictures of the students, pictures around the school. This is a high school teacher that I made fun of pictures at home. Ever since then, I've never been without a camera. So now you know Claude is a sculptor, a painter, and a photographer. You're probably wondering, what else can this guy possibly do? Well, guess who's playing the saxophone? I just play on my own. I love music. Claude loves anything that has to do with art. And what drives him is that feeling. That feeling of you have to produce something and you just, you don't have any control over it, it just wants to come out. It's almost like, without me imposing on the stone, it imposes on me and it comes out. And when I'm finished, I may ask myself, did I really do this? And I'm even surprised by my own work. the same way as you looking at it. In Northeast El Paso. It's, I don't know, it's not something that I intend to do, it just happens. Rick DuPont, ABC7. And the Arts International exhibit is running through October 23rd at the Downtown Library, and it's free, and Rick DuPont joins us now. Rick, a fascinating story. I'm wondering, was it hard to get him, because I know some artists are very introverted, was it hard to get Claude Montes to talk to you as much as he did? Well, Claude was a very cool person, and at first, I guess he was a little quiet, almost came across as shy, but after you got him talking about sculpting and photography and painting, he really opened up and came to life. Uh, one thing that I thought would have been funny is that Claude moved to this country when he was 10 and he learned to speak English by watching Sesame Street. So I was kind of pushing for some sort of Kermit the Frog impression. Yeah. That wasn't happening. Oh. He wouldn't budge. But a, really such a strong personality that does come out in the story.